Peace. Peace. Welcome to another episode of the Sea Rock Smooth Show on its Juicy TV, where the truth is told and the truth is gold. We're back, brothers and sisters. And if you don't already know, we're at war. Here's a clip from Apostle Gino Jennings before we begin. Make sure you subscribe. I'll be right back. We're at war. Bible says endure hardness as what? Good soldier. God made me a soldier. Amen. Good soldier. I'm a warrior. Warrior. I'm part of God's army. That's right. He's my commander. That's He's right. He's my chief. Hallelujah. Am I right, man? Talk to me. Talk to me. Hero. Hero. So interesting. You know how a lot of people are starting a podcast. This is one interesting one. So it, they've already been recording some, so they'll have several in the can. Uh, but in a couple of weeks, it will they'll air their first episode. But we're talking about Lamar Odom and Caitlyn Jenner. Oh, that's going to be They it. have a new podcast together. It starts in a few weeks. It's called Smoking Chili and Dog. God dang it. <laughs> Smoking and <laughs> It's called Smoking. <laughs> it's called, Smucks. It's called Keeping Up With Sports. Face and booties. No, <laughs> called keeping up with sports and if you know anything about the kardashians the show that they had or they used to be on Boo -boo them, Bean, somebody <laughs> said. it's a play it's a play of words and titles uh from the kardashians because of course the show is called Look keeping up it's called uh, keeping up with the kardashians so now their show is, that is called beyonce keeping mama up with sports oh, That's wow it. house of darian uh fashion shoe go back they describe the um podcast as being a sports show where that's crazy he said is that beyonce's mother Wow. And it, the crazy thing is, it kind of does look like Beyonce's mother. Yikes. Where they'll be talking about every sport in their own ways. So you and think... I'm sorry, go ahead. And their first guest will be boxing legend Sugar Ray Leonard, where he'll speak about how... Magdoria. He, well, he'll ask, oh, finally man. speak about how he was abused by his trainers when he was... <laughs> now, for those who don't know, obviously, Magdoria is like, you know, taking it in the back door. All right, these guys are the wildest guys on the internet. Uh, but that's what they're talking about when they talk about Backdoria. Uh, there was some some uh, people that said that uh, Sugar Ray went both ways. I don't know if he still does or whatever, but they talked a lot about that back in the days. Let's continue. Younger and that he had, hadn't spoken about that ever since. So everybody's kind of looking for this episode. Ray Lee, that alone. <laughs> hey man, everybody who watched this, they pages need to be put up there. He gonna talk about how he was victimized. Huh? Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> you want a gold medal? You got beat up by nah. how Sugar Ray Little talk. Well. <laughs> the first time he f me. Oh my God. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Put up a picture of Beyonce mama next to Bruce Jenner, please. Oh no, <laughs> you stop. <laughs> hey man, look at this <laughs> with this makeup on. <laughs> what the that looks like That's it. the end of the <laughs> world. That See, I'll be listening to this preacher. He tell the truth how yeah. it is in the Bible. His name is Gene Hope Smith. Okay. Wrong. If you ain't never watched this brother preach, listen to this brother. He don't care about trying to make people happy. He says it how it is in the Bible. That's right. Mm -hmm. He talk like this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. 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 He sound like that comedian, that light-skinned comedian that, that got blackballed that was funny. Oh. He used to cuss a lot. What's his name? He was a light-skinned dude. He talked like, Rodney I don't Winfield. give a I watch you thing. Rodney Winfield. Yeah. Yeah, he ain't like Rodney Winfield. Oh, this my voice though. No. If you ain't never seen Geno Smith talk, I mean Geno Geno Jennings. Right. Is it Geno Geno Jennings? Oh, like Caitlin. If you ain't never watched <laughs> him talk, you'd owe it to yourself to listen to a man speak with conviction about how he's interpreting the Bible. That's right. Yeah. 
He ain't, he sure. don't care. He's not in a popularity contest and neither am I. Oh, I love you, Geno Jennings. Keep giving it to them upside their head with the truth. Cause this is going to be. Oh, Caitlin. Oh my God. And, 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 and have you. So that was it right there. Uh, Corey Holcomb said in front of 15,000 people that they need to start listening to Geno Jennings. Uh, shout out to Corey. He's rough around the edges, but. He hit it right on the head right there. I think um, I think Corey can relate to Apostle Jennings because uh, of the raw delivery that they have, okay? And, you know, like he said, Apostle doesn't care how you feel when he tells you the truth. And uh, Corey doesn't either. Uh, I used to watch his show a lot. His show got wild, though, but um, somebody let me know that he gave Apostle a shout-out. So shout-out to Corey. Uh, for, for telling his listeners that if they want the truth, listen to Apostle. Um, so for those who don't know, if you're trying to learn about the truth and you know, God's true way of holiness, you want to visit www.truthofgod.com. Once again, www.truthofgod.com. All right, brothers and sisters, there you have it. No matter what we do, we must keep pushing the truth. God first. A gentleman named C Rock. Yeah, man. He called himself C Rock Smooth. Mm -hmm. Well, C Rock Smooth is tossing this hard, rough gospel out there. So you better repent now and obey what I'm telling you. That's right. Oh, everybody. Yeah. Repent and be baptized. Every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sins and the Lord promised to feed with the Holy Ghost. To all of my viewers that watch this program, also on the website of C Rock Smooth. C Rock Smooth went down in water today. In the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Amen. Drove all the way from Boston. Wonderful. He called me up. He said, uh, Apostle, I am here. Ready to, is he here? Is it C Rock? There he is. There's C Rock. Glory oh, to God. Amen. God bless you, brother. Rode down from Massachusetts. Wonderful. You know, this thing is worth driving to the Hallelujah. Glory to God. To the end of the earth for. When you see how short time is now. How uh, isn't that we're getting any younger, but we're getting older. I would advise every man and every woman of every walk of life, regardless of your occupation. Choose God. Make him first. 